Hello there, and welcome to the Arcanum. I'm Glenn Guy, your travel photography guru. Here's what I'm about. The emergence of science as the new god of modern Western culture has resulted in our society abandoning the age of faith and, with it, separating us from the importance of ritual and myth. These changes have challenged our traditional belief system, and as a consequence, our relationship with the eternal and nature has suffered, as has our ability to unite our outer reality with our inner self. I believe that we learn more about ourselves through adversity, and that paradise and hope are both earthly notions, which we carry with us wherever we go. It might be that hope exists only in the journey, where in the beginning all is possible, every aspect, every dream. With the destination subordinate to the journey, the search for meaning is a continuous process. To see the world through the camera is a uniquely personal experience. My role as a photographer is to communicate and I'm unafraid to show my love for that which I photograph. As storyteller, I produce images where subjects existing simultaneously as character and co-author inhabit the world as whole, independent beings in a world of perpetual light. Working within a narrative tradition, I endeavour to discover a poetic thread in which to house a feeling or experience that would otherwise be lost or assigned to the vagaries of memory. This process can be summarised as follows. Yield. To gain a better understanding of the world in which I live by immersing myself into the landscapes and cultures that exist beyond my everyday experience. Act. To experience much of the beauty and diversity of the world and its peoples, and then to translate my emotional response from feelings into form. Revere. To make sense of the world by evoking a higher truth through the telling of a story about the beauty that exists on the edge of our understanding. Preserve. To utilise my camera and associated photographic processes to visualise and render these scenes poised in all their complexities between one moment and the next, in a process that allows me to make metaphors from metamorphosis. In this way, nothing of what is glimpsed in that original sighting is lost over time. My images deal with what it is to be human. They have helped me understand my own personal journey and to resonate that outwards into the poetry of the everyday and beyond, towards that certain inner beauty found in simple things. Through the production of a living diary, this process of photographic documentation has allowed me to record my own life's history. To live the life I dream and to share that dream my vision of the world with others is the ultimate aim. While I'd like to think that that statement provides you with a fairly clear indication of what I'm about and ultimately who I am, you might also be interested to know where I've come from. I've been working in photography my whole adult life. After a stint in retail, I moved into my own wedding portrait studio in my hometown, Hamilton, in southeastern Victoria. I then did a short stint as a newspaper photographer, also in Hamilton, prior to moving to Melbourne to undertake some formal education in photography. I was initially expecting to do three years. In the end, I did nine, coming out the end of the tunnel <laughs> with a, a Master of Arts in Photography. Throughout those nine years, I had to support myself and um, pay my way through university, so I uh, went back to working in camera stores and did the odd commercial job. During that time, I also commenced work at Kodak Australasia in Coburg, uh, a northern suburb of Melbourne. I started on the factory floor making film and paper working shift hours while still attending university, and I used to find my way from home to work, uh, to school, and to home again, and not always in that order. I think for uh, six months I would commonly be up for 34 hours at a time. So at the end of that semester, I'm pretty sure I'd learned a lot about myself, though I'm not sure if I remember much of what I was taught. Fortunately, I was able to move away from the shift work uh, job into um, more white-collar positions, initially in customer service roles, 
and then into more technical specialist roles relating to photography at Kodak products. So I worked in the Kodak Information Centre and in the Pro Passport area, uh, where we supported uh, professional photographers and professional labs and distributors. After five years in those roles, I then moved on to product management and I became responsible for almost the entire range of uh, professional products that Kodak sold in Australia and New Zealand. In addition to that, I ran a special quality monitoring process for professional labs processing E6 transparency film. So, you know, ectochrome slide films, if you like, and uh, their equivalents from Fuji and Agfa. So that was initially uh, run in Australia and New Zealand. But during my uh, two-year tenure in that role, um, we expanded it into various parts of uh, Southeast Asia. After Kodak, I moved uh, into teaching. Now, I'd been teaching for a number of years on a part-time and casual basis, but I took up what became a a 12-year tenure at a photography college in Melbourne. But in addition to that, also continued to work on a part-time and casual basis at a number of other education institutions around Melbourne. Short courses are challenging in all number of ways, but I've continued working in short courses and actually uh, really enjoy it because in just a few weeks I'm able to impart an enormous amount of information and really start to see people get their head around the concepts um, relating to how to make great photos as well as just how to use their equipment. I haven't exhibited for quite a long time but uh, back in the early days of my photographic education I was exhibiting reasonably regularly and had a fair amount of success including Uh, being in the inaugural Felix H. Mann Award for Documentary Photography at the National Gallery of Victoria in Australia. And I picked up a like reward and an award for landscape photographer from the Australian Institute of Professional Photography um, for the Victorian Division long ago. Seems like in another life. Over more recent times, I've worked as a stills photographer for film and TV, including Fish Out of Water, which was a documentary on the environment for Foxtel which starred former Olympian and world champion swimmer Ian Thorpe. I also worked on the Australian motion picture film Summer Coda. Over the years, I've undertaken a number of commercial assignments for companies such as Kodak. That was after I left employment with them. Uh, National Australia Bank and Australia Post. My work has ended up in a number of collections, both private and corporate. A few years ago, a former colleague and I took a number of people down to the Falkland Islands, South Georgia Island and Antarctica and that was an amazing experience and that's something I look forward to doing more of into the future. I do brand myself as the travel photography guru. It's a little bit of a joke. I certainly wouldn't consider myself to be a guru in anything at all. The name comes about primarily because my initial travels were to Asia. I think my first seven trips were to Asia And guru over there really means teacher. Certainly it has spiritual connotations to it, but really the term, from my point of view, refers to being a teacher. I suppose also I'm making a comment by using the word guru, and I'm not really referring to myself, but I'm referring to the fact that through the internet, the world's full of self-proclaimed gurus, whether it be in photography, (laughs) investing, uh, you know, or any number of other uh, areas of endeavor. They may know a bit, but they don't necessarily have the experience uh, nor the ability to pass on what they're talking about. So I took on the word guru as a bit of a joke, and I, I hope it's seen in that manner. I certainly wouldn't want to present myself as being better than anyone else as a photographer. Throughout my 35 years in the industry, I've never actually been interested in competing with anyone else. It's just not my nature. I compete with myself and I work very, very hard to produce the best work I possibly can. I simply don't see any need to compete with anyone else. It's not who I am or what I'm about. Over more recent times, I've got into ebook publishing and I've really enjoyed that. I expect to be releasing a number of other ebooks over the next uh, 12 months. Long ago, I used to play in a few bands. I really love those experiences, particularly the ones with my first band, Taxi, because that involves some of my best friends. 
And over recent years, we've been getting together uh, on occasions, and it's just been fantastic to reminisce and also to um, play a few of the old tunes. Over the last year, I've started to play guitar again more regularly, having put it aside for, well, 25 years or more. I'm not a great guitarist by any means, but I just love being in the moment with my friends on stage. And my current band uh, is no exception. We've had a lot of fun playing together and we've started to assemble a fairly comprehensive list which I hope will appeal to a range of different folk. It's great fun. Ultimately, I would regard myself as a generalist in a world of specialists. And I actually think that's a key ingredient as to why I'm quite a good photography tutor. I've photographed all manner of subject matter in different environments and under different conditions. And I do have an understanding of the struggle that's involved in the early days just to come to grips with the technology and then to be able to move yourself from one level up to the next. I understand the financial constraints and so many of the other pressures in our life that can stop us achieving our true purpose. I really love photography. I love good photographs. And it's really important to me that I can help people in their own journey to becoming a better image maker. In a typically Australian manner, I'm quite straightforward in the advice I give, and I don't beat around the bush too much. But I am generally interested in people and what they're about, and I do work really, really hard to help people achieve their true purpose in life. Maybe we'll be able to work together too. Thank <sighs> you.